Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today we are trying Mountain Dew Energized Passion Fruit Frenzy. Now, this is coming all the way from Australia. It has a 1.5 out of 5 star health warning, so it's probably not the best thing to drink, but what soda is, really? Anyways, the history about this flavor goes all the way back to 2012, October 15th, 2012 to be exact, when this first released in New Zealand, which replaced Pitch Black. And it only stayed in New Zealand for the longest time, up until March of 2024, where this flavor came out in Australia. Now, the Australian formula of Passion Fruit Frenzy compared to uh, New Zealand's is that this is a half diet formula. Compared to New Zealand, it's full sugar. This one's half, so half of the sugar is replaced with artificial sweeteners. Now, am I a big fan of that switch? No, I'd much rather have the full sugar deal. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is the new version and it's only available in Australia and if Passion Fruit Frenzy in general, Australia and New Zealand. So anyways, this is uh, a golden color look to it and the label looks pretty awesome. Take a look there. Uh, there are some lightning bolts, I think, to signify that it is an energized version. Now, what does that mean? Energized, in Australia at least, means that it's Mountain Dew with caffeine. Because originally, Mountain Dew in Australia didn't contain caffeine. So a Mountain Dew that does have caffeine has the energized name attached to it. So that's what it is there. Anyways, a good friend of mine, Pepsi Collector Brad, off of Instagram, uh, sent me this. So this is one of his sponsored sodas that he was so nice to send to me. And this has been chilling in my fridge for the longest time. It's just been looking at me saying, drink me, drink me, drink me. I'm like, okay, I will drink you now. All right, you happy? All right. It does smell like passion fruit. I'm not picking up any hints of artificial sweeteners, but uh, maybe I will taste it when I try it. But anyways, here is Mountain Dew Energized Passion Fruit Frenzy coming all the way from Australia. Here we go. There it is. I do taste that. There is the artificial sweetener in there. But... That is not a deal breaker. It's it's very, very subtle. You do get a little bit of the aftertaste of the uh, artificial sweeteners, but man, that is tasty. Very, very flavorful. Tastes great. I'm so... Oh. Woo! Woo! That has a bite to it. It's got a very, very sharp flavorful passion fruit uh, flavor to it. Um, it is very sparkling watery. Uh, just think about that. Like um, the carbonation. Of, oh, that is what it reminds me of. If you ever had Welch's grape juice, like the sparkling grape juice that it's always sold like near New Year's Eve times or whatever for uh, non-alcoholic drinkers, you know, you could get that and kind of put that in your champagne glass and have a nice toast at the end of the year. It kind of tastes like that. It has that very fizzy, sparkly, almost sharp kind of taste to it. But it does pack that passion fruit uh, flavor very, very big. Mm, that is really good. That is awesome, really. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. 90 milligrams of caffeine in this bad boy. Very nice. Mm. Uh, I am digging that. This has a very flavorful taste, but uh, compared to the Mountain Dew flavors here in the States, it doesn't taste so bogged down and syrupy and thick. It's a very light, crisp, 
and flavorful drink. It's almost like I am drinking juice because of how like light and crisp and sharp and flavorful and authentic this actually is. It's like, I, I gotta know if there is actually any juice in here. <laughs> uh, nope, no juice in it. So that that's crazy. But, oof. Yeah, this is awesome. <clears throat> okay, so when this first hits your tongue, it kind of shocks your tongue. It's almost like paralyzed. That's about 0.3 seconds in. And then 0.5 seconds in, the very, very tangy, sweet, and sharp uh, flavor of the passion fruit settles into your tongue. And then it kind of morphs into that same taste, but there is this, uh, it's like a blanket or a sheen that kind of blocks the rest of the taste to go to the full potential that a passion fruit uh, flavored soda could be. And that I think that's coming from the artificial sweeteners. It kind of like blocks it. It's like, hold up. Wait a minute, do you got VIP access to get the rest of this? No, you just bought the base level version. You didn't buy the DLC extras to get the full game experience. Okay, well, we teased you. You have all the flavors and you know the experience, but we can't take you to that next level because it's not a full sugar drink. But for this being a half diet version of a soda it is really really awesome and i you know i don't even like zero sugar i don't like diet sodas or whatever but man i could drink this and if i hadn't known and done my research about this version i would have thought man yeah i don't taste any zero sugar but knowing and trying to pick up on that yeah i do taste it but that doesn't kill this flavor at all so for those of you that drink regular sugar sodas, give this one a shot. The Australian version, I'm sure the New Zealand version would be just as good or even better. But even this one, it is awesome. <sighs> now you are going to have a little bit of that artificial sweetener aftertaste. But it's not bad enough that it kills this drink and makes it like just not a good choice. This is actually a really, really good tasting Mountain Dew. I'd say this is better than like 75% of the past Mountain Dew flavors that have come and gone over the past couple of years here in the States. I would recommend this soda to anybody that drinks soda or they're wanting a new Mountain Dew flavor to check out. Uh, import this. See if you can find it at some foreign shop wherever you are and uh, flag this flavor down. It's definitely worth it. I would recommend it for sure. And uh, just know that, hey, it may have a little bit of a not-so-great aftertaste, but the whole experience is really good. It's fizzy, it's sharp, it's sweet, um, it has an edge to it that is really good. It's refreshing as well. So, yeah, it's uh, definitely a great experience. Not the best, though, because, like I said, some of that artificial sweetener does kill it. But this is definitely a great Mountain Dew flavor. So I will give this one an 8 out of 10. It's really, really awesome. So yeah, I would recommend it. Mountain Dew Energized Passion Fruit Frenzy an 8 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching this cheat day review. I am DJ Glowing Ice, always wanting to remind you that it is okay to cheat every once in a while. And your question of the day. Which sandwich could you live without for the rest of your life? Bologna sandwich or a peanut butter and jelly? I myself, I could live without the bologna sandwich. PB&J, oh, I gotta have a PB&J. Now, bologna sandwiches are great, don't get me wrong. It's a, it's a nostalgic taste, but uh, PB&J is too, but... I, I find myself making more PB&Js than anything else. But anyways, that is your question. Uh, throw it around in your mind. Which sandwich could you live without? And uh, yeah, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, have a great rest of your day. 
and I will see you again very soon. All right, bye-bye.